Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a hot piping cup of coffee in your hand right now because we have a digital wall clock that shows many different functions. Number one, temperature, which is really nice. Of course, big digital numbers and the day right in front of you right here. There is also alarms and an LED light. Let's get this out. Now, as we're getting this out, this clock does come in many different colors. And again, top link in the description box right below the video will be this exact same clock where you guys can read more about it and pick it up yourself after the video is done. It does come with a remote control. There's your power plug, our clock here. Okay, it looks like we have some wall little mount like little pins here. Again, our remote control. Our remote control does have a battery already in it. Just remove the plastic protective tab. Looks like they give you a measuring tape so you can mount it. And here is your power plug here. Now this does not come with a wall adapter, so you're gonna have to use one of your spare ones around your house. We all do have plenty of them. It would have been nice if they would have came with a wall adapter, but it's all right. I have some extra ones around the house. You have your instruction manual and it does have a protective seal over the top of the clock here. Now, once again, it is USB. This goes in the back of the clock. USB would plug into your wall adapter. So you could plug that into your wall. Some people do have outlets where you don't need an adapter and your instructions obviously state how to set your alarms, count out timers, etc. We'll give you guys a couple examples here. Okay, looking at the back of it here, it does have a battery compartment here. I think that's just for backup. I don't think it powers it, but that again, if you lose power to your house, the backup battery would store all your alarms and time so that if God forbid your power did go out, your clock would still remain with everything embedded in here. I'm not sure if that would like kick back on or if the power has to kick back on but once power is restored should save everything in the clock with that backup battery that's what transpires with some of my other products in my house so right up on top here you looks like you have a dimness light over here with a little push button you have your set button your plus and minus button and your alarm button right over here on this side here your power adapter goes in this side here you can cord management all that around this area here so you don't have a bunch of dangling cords your speaker for the alarm is down here or up top here as well with ventilation. And then you can draw out the cord on the right side or draw the cord out on the left side here with your mounting bracket here and here, hanging that up and then sliding it down on those pins. All right, let's plug it in. Alrighty folks, let's take a look at the clock. All right, let me jump out of the shot here because it is reflective. Now, do be careful, it does show fingerprints, but hang it up and then clean it off and then you won't have to deal with that. Now, the reason you hang it up is the LED light below. So the LED light, as we can see right here, shines down on your wall. We'll try to get some shots at nighttime here. But even if it's tilted like this, obviously you don't want it standing straight up because then the LED light won't show, but that is why you do hang it up. So very clearly we can see that it is Thursday right here in white. That is the time, very large. You can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. I chose Fahrenheit and the date here. The whole entire clock is dimmable, 10 levels of dimming. Let's just show you here as we go down to one, you can barely see it. There's two. And you can also, of course, use your remote control, which I highly recommend, which is really cool. So you can do multicolor, you can do a blue light, pink, yellow, red, green, white, orange, which is really cool. I really like cayenne or again, the multi light button here and then it just cycles through those colors. So let's go ahead and show you a couple different features here. Now this is all on the remote control. You can do count up or count down. This is really nice for a gym clock as well because this is over 13 inches, this is 13.4 inches. So let's say you wanted to do like something in your gym, right? This symbol right here, we're counting up so let's go ahead and hit OK and you start counting up right there. If you're doing like a one minute exercise or something like that, go ahead and hit OK to stop it and then just hold it down to reset it. Then you have your countdown. So countdown would be the same exact thing. And with countdown, you just simply use your plus and minus right here. So and then you hold it down. So that's for seconds. So just a quick one for seconds or you hold it down and that would add in the minutes there. So it goes a little quick. You do have to be a little careful with that there and then set it there and then we hit OK and then it counts it down as we can see there. To stop that, hit OK. Let's hit OK and reset that. And let me try that again. It'd be nice if it was a little bit less sensitive. It goes a little quick there, especially if you're trying to do one minute. I'd say if you're trying to do one minute, just go ahead and just use the second one. Let's go ahead and hold that down here, reset that. 
And if you're just doing like a minute, then I would go that, hit OK, and then it counts it down there as we can see there. And if you are wondering, I'm just gonna show you here, which is nice, there is a slight beep once it is done. And that is a nice loud beat. So if you're doing gym work, you know when your minute is up. I actually hang every morning for one minute. So this is nice if you were doing this in your gym, just setting it. That way you could work on your breath work without paying attention to the time. You hear the beep and you are done. It is really nice seeing a large temperature gauge there. I like that setting as well. And of course, don't forget about the alarm functions. And I do want to show you that if you are light sensitive at night, you can have your alarm on and then you could just turn off that I guess and your LED light you just hit light right here and you can turn that LED light on or off as well. Now it also does have 24 hour function if you are a military and you'd rather have a 24 hour clock than 12 hours. All right, here's a shot of it with the bedroom lights on as it's reflecting down on the table here. Let's go ahead and put it up, kind of show you a hue beneath it if it's up on the wall here. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights real quick. And here we are here showing off a beautiful, nice hue coming down again. You can change those different colors looking really, really sharp. So once again, some several different really cool options, especially for being light sensitive, be able to dim that if you want to, turn the lights off or on. And overall, it's a thumbs up in my book. I'd say the only con about it that I experienced was changing the countdown timer. It went a little fast. I wish it was just a single press button for the hour instead of holding it down. Once again, top link in the description box below will be this exact same digital clock where you guys can read more about it and pick it up yourself. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, please go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, helps the channel. Also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, as well as DIY home renovation projects and more. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.